Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Taylor Welding, we're up to another project. We're welding up some flat roof trusses for my pole barn. Now, there's a few tips that's gonna help somebody. All that is is two inch pipe with these little cross pieces that was left over from an old project. I had a big box of them here. Uh, we had a project, we had to cut some a bunch of slots out of some uh, I-beam or H-beam, and I kept those just for this project. It's all out of the scrap pile. Now, on these ends, this is what I really what I want to show you. So we got to hold this up there, and a lot of times this drill stem, and, and that's actually old pipeline pipe, but a lot of it's drill stem. It could be magnetized. It's nasty. It's hard to cut. And getting those cuts just perfect is sometimes kind of tough, especially when you're hanging on the end of a tractor bucket and all that other stuff. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to make this a little easier. All right, guys, so what I have, there's a three inch pipe right there and there's a two inch pipe over there. We're gonna put those flat roof trusses across there. We'll be holding up there with the tractor, hard to get to. So what I'm gonna do on the two inch side is this is two and seven eighths and it fits on the end of that two inch pipe. Just perfect, just perfect. So we're gonna cut the trusses short and we're gonna slip this on there. And then when we get it in position, we're gonna put it where it's supposed to go and then we'll weld this and that. Now, two and seven eighths, how does two and seven eighths fit on two inch? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right here. So on something like this, you can build a template, or if you've been doing it for a while and you're familiar with it, you can eyeball it. I eyeballed all these. So another tip, if you're gonna be cutting something that's this tall, and you're trying to do like this, it's gonna be hard to do. So get something about the same height and it'll give you something to go on. And I'm gonna come down about to where, and this is galvanized, it's gonna pop and spit. I'm gonna come down about to where two inch would fit. I'm gonna come this way. One side. Then you're gonna eyeball that end down. Just look down, you can see about where it's at, and start right on top again. Okay. We'll see how our two inch fits. Can you see that? So that two inch fits in there pretty good, right? Easy enough to weld. I could grind it, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna weld it. Now you do have this issue where it's a little gap on top because this two and seven eighths on two inch. So what I've been doing, what I've done for a long time is you come over here to the vise, put that unit in there like so, make sure you get it tight. Smack it on one side. Smack it on the other. And now, just to true everything up, you can get your little piece of two inch, stick it in there. Now we have, on something that's not hot, something that fits perfect and easy to weld. Now you guys saw how long that took me. It might take you a little practice, but that is what we're going to do for the pole barn. Hope you like the tip, subscribe, like the video. You guys are awesome, later.